come up? You're going to bring up on your phone. Oh, we are live. All right. Here we go. Well, hello everybody. Good evening. Uh, this is uh, first time trying this out, so we're going to see. Everyone here knows Mike. Hey. Mike has next to him a uh, frightening box uh, that uh, <laughs> I'm a little worried about, but uh, we'll go through that in a minute. Uh, we also have obviously Anthony on with us uh, as always. Hello, everyone. Looking dapper in his collared shirt and sweater. Uh, and we have a special guest tonight uh, from the channel Strange Brain Parts, also known as the Overlord, is Alan. Hello. He's, he's a disembodied uh, a voice. I am. <laughs> so if you haven't caught uh, Alan's channel before, uh, in the description below, there's a link to one of his videos that he did uh, on Doom Patrol, which I really enjoyed and kind of got me into his channel. Uh, oh, and I also put a link to uh, one of Anthony's videos, which was his uh, 2018, I think, top 50. I think it was Anthony. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure, but anyway, they're both gateway videos or gateway drugs to your channels. I think they're a good representation <laughs> on, on what you guys bring bring in. And uh, yeah, also, that's, the, that, that's the marijuana in my. Uh... <laughs> and for those who don't know, Anthony, right before this, you just dropped part three of Affordable Keys, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I yes I did. Yes yeah, I did. So there's that going on. So there's a whole big bunch of stuff going on. I want to say special thanks to. Uh, 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 it was a Comic Bay. Uh, it's a guy that every morning says what's on eBay. Uh, he did a little blurb on us, and that's great. Uh, so, so that's nice to, to get cool. organized. And I'm trying to get better about putting out what the show is going to be about and who's going to be on it at least 24 hours ahead of time, so everyone can, uh, uh, you know, so everything's a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress. You can click the bell so you don't miss out on it. And uh, you know, if this works out good. Uh, Mike has uh, hundreds of boxes in route here. <laughs> so we're gonna, well, he's going to be a frequent guest on this. Yeah. Show. He'll be a frequent guest. And we, I'm also talking to a couple of local writers and artists that have created books, and I'm hoping to get them on in weeks to come so we can talk to them. Uh, and I, I think it'd be fun for those of us that just you know, predominantly read uh, – and do channels and things like this to be able to have uh, you know talk to somebody that's actually created and published a book I think is uh, kind of cool. So uh, we're blessed to have a lot of guys around here that actually have uh, you know written and, and drawn and produced their own books. So uh, with, before that though, we do have two unofficial sponsors tonight. I have a left-hand brewing company, Milk Stout Nitro, that I'm going to be enjoying. And Mike has. I get to enjoy this wonderful stockyard oatmeal <laughs> stout. Enjoy the relative term. Yes. And so, I have my tall skim latte. <laughs> well, be before we went on, I made Mike suffer through my vegan pizza. Oh, I <laughs> eat vegan pizza. <laughs> and uh, Mike, you actually had vegan here. pizza? I, 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 oh, wow. Yikes. Wow, that is a. Oof. <laughs> Where's that coffee? <laughs> where's the, where's the, I can't remember his name. The guy that always wants me to chug beer. I will enjoy chewing this beer. Chewing it? Yeah. It's a loaf of bread. Oh, geez. This is, fanta yeah. this is fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Damn dark, too. Look at that. That's a nice yeah. looking look. Yeah. Mike's is Scottish, so ah. how is it? Is it rough? <laughs> it's a loaf of bread. <laughs> so, uh, before Mike gets going, is there anything new, Anthony, you want to share? Did you, did you buy anything or are you in the process? Uh, yeah, I, I bought a couple of things. I put them Ooh. on Instagram, uh, but they, probably, they won't be shown until the next comic book haul and beyond. Right. But yeah, but I did get a couple of things. All right. Always it's more pre-code EC stuff. No, nice. you're sticking with EC. I thought maybe you'd delve into maybe Atlas or uh, Avon or somebody like that. No, no, I'm afraid to go down that route. <laughs> yeah, the rabbit hole. I've yes, seen, the rabbit hole. Yes. Yeah, I've been uh, I'm nice afraid to might not. Oh, I went, to a, that hole. I went to a Comic Con. Uh, well, it's the local oh, yeah, convention. Yeah, monthly, show. monthly. Yeah. Yeah, Clifton. It was great. Great con. I met up with Tony Toth again. He's a really, oh. really friendly guy. Uh, he got a couple books. I was. I don't want to reveal what he got. I'm pretty. Sure, he'd like to save it for when he the video comes out. But I, when you get to the when you watch his whenever the video comes out and you get to a certain book, you'll know that I was right next to him while he bought it, and I was very very happy. I was. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice running into him and his friend uh, 
forget his friend's name, Joseph, I think it was. And I ran into yeah. a couple people uh, that watched the show. Paul, just want to give him a shout out. I know he watches the show in the Rewind. I think he watches in the Rewind. And a couple people from Facebook. Yeah, like you know, Kevin. last week I noticed something. We had, I don't know, about 30 people on last week mm -hmm. and live. And then I, ch I checked, uh, I had to turn off notifications because they were coming through and people were commenting. Mm -hmm. But within an hour, like 180 people had watched it or reviewed it. So I don't know if it's the same people watching over and over again. <laughs> or yeah. Just, I think maybe it's the West Coast guys too. And I didn't realize that this morning on that show uh, when he said that it's four o'clock Pacific time. So a lot of people are still at work and yeah. nights of old would be great to have him on, but I think he's still at work when we're yeah, doing Yeah, he is. He yeah. told me, he said he would like yeah. to come on, but the time, it's just, it doesn't link up to, you know. Well, maybe, maybe we'll do a West Coast show one night. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll have to start, we'll start, we'll like, start like around nine o'clock or something like that. Yeah. So Alan, what's new? What can we expect from you? Anything new? Oh, not anything new for me, really. Well, just videos. That's yeah, all. Yeah, video. Like, what's your next video? You want to tease it? Oh, let's see. I think on Friday it should be Mr. A. I'll be doing a repeat. Well, actually, uh, I, I took an old video and I made it look better. No? I, I, I wasn't happy with it, so I remade it. Mm -hmm. And then after that, another Doom Patrol. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's because wow. you're going through the whole series. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my plan. So right. um, I'm going to cover all the entire 80s slash early 90s series next time. Excellent. And well, that's going to be very long. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't wait till you get to 121. That'll be the interesting one, I think. Oh, I, I've already covered the original series. Uh, oh. the Yeah, I, you're talking about the single issue reviews. Yeah, I haven't got back to that yet. Yeah, no, that's what I was talking about. Um, so, all right. Well, Mike, what do, you, what do you have for us in that box? So <laughs> Well, we got, got yeah, we kind of got a box of fun stuff here tonight. Um, a little backstory: I tend to go to a lot of shows and I dig up a lot of collections. <laughs> <Really>? And um, <laughs> I, strangely enough, like Patrick, I got into collecting around 1972, 73. I think the main difference was is I never took a sabbatical from collecting, so I've gone to thousands of countless shows over the decades. Um, you know, 45 plus years of this stuff. Last year being no exception, and. Um, you know, more and more there's good stuff turning up. So what I submitted to CGC about a month ago was an express tier order. Um, I did some searching on YouTube and I couldn't find any examples. I think this is the the only instance where I've seen an unboxing of a full express order of books. Um, express is the second from the top tier, of course, the top one being the walkthrough. So these are books that are $1,000 or more. Um, there are videos of a one or two, you know, key books, but this is a full order, and um, hopefully it turns out pretty good. Yeah, the funny thing is, he thought it was one box, but because of some of them are square bound and they're thicker books, they, they yeah. couldn't fit them all in a standard twenty-five uh, book box. So he got two boxes actually. So um, this should be fun. So yeah. uh, normally we go through this and we can edit if we goof up, but apologies ahead of time if yeah. we don't. And um, I'm sure the chat will correct us if we don't get right what why that book is is popular i'm hoping <laughs> alan and anthony can help bail us out if uh <laughs> if we you're step, the editing crew yeah you're the editing crew uh, screw this oh up. god <laughs> have you guys seen my videos i can't yeah. edit too well <laughs> oh, <on> second thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> all right so so i guess a little a little bit of trivia too i i estimated i went through about a half a million books last year just to find these. I mean, there's more than just the express ones, but roughly 500,000 books, uh, it's about 2,200 long boxes. Mm. So you have no more so, fingertips. No, no, no more fingerprints. Yeah. So these kind of got culled from that. You know, these are, like I said, again, these are the express ones. Of course, we have future orders coming in. We got a bunch of moderns, um, economy standard, all the rest of the tiers. But uh, I guess to kind of quote uh, Roy Batty um, from Blade Runner, you know, I've seen things your, your eyes, you would not believe um, a pack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering where you were going with that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, short box of Amazing Fantasy 15. I love Rucker Howard in that movie. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to say some quick hellos. Hey, Todd Holbeck, uh, Silver Age Dave's here. Hey, bud. Uh, Murfinator's on. Hey, ah. I see Maurice is in. Comic, comic books in New York City's on. Good for him. He's a fairly new guy. He's in the music too. I think here's DS, Yickety Yackety. Carl on bass is here. Uh, hey, hey Carl. We want more music out of you. You haven't done a video in a while. We want we want more covers. Uh, John Venezuela. 
Ah, there's Metarog's on. I watched one of his videos today. The boy who had seven. Uh, going back to Dan, who else we got on here? I'm sorry if I miss your name. Splash Page Comics. There he is. It's Mr. White Gloves, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, we got uh, Christopher Joy. I remember him. EC Ed. Hey, Ed. I got to get a hold of you. There's a couple EC books I'm trying to track down. I think you can help me with. I'm Joker 68. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Thanks for joining us. Eugene T. Or I can't pronounce it. Uh, T S E. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Chris Winsky. Wow, we got it. It looks like a, a good crew. There's uh, Alan clicked in. I, I think he's probably doing something, so he tries to click in early and let us know he's kind of live, and then he, he has to go do what he's supposed to be doing, I think. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much everyone now. We got 33 on, so oh. uh, that's that's a good amount. I'm sure everyone's here to see what Mike's got in his magic box. Okay, let the fun begin. Oh, oh. Let's open up the Pandora's box. Yeah, let's see so, what uh, evil comes let's out. Start let's start kind of slow. Also, Mike's already removed the panties if Dr. Von Chilla's watching. We'll do a couple of those on camera. Keep oh, Dr. Von Chilla, keep Dr. Yeah. Von Chilla away from Mike. <laughs> That's a nice book. This might be nicer than mine, Mike. I'll trade you. Before we reveal the grave, no, you want to no, swap I can't now? Do that. <laughs> Patrick's like, eh. <laughs> nice. you, I'm not a gambler. Is everyone ready? This one I said was a 3.5 Avengers. Survey says four. I think it's a 4.5. Oh, oh. oh. These eyes are working. Nice. Wow. I'm near I'm near blind in both eyes, but I for some reason I can see CGC books pretty well. <laughs> and as always, when one book isn't enough, two is better. Two. Oh boy. Jeez. Now, so what do you think? A little bit better. It doesn't have the uh, little wear in no. the lower corner. The color's not as bright. Uh, I think it's a better wrap. There is some spine roll though. Yeah, so a little I'm bit of thinking, spine roll. I'm thinking a 4.0. I think it's a 5.0. 5.0. Oh, 4.5. Oh, Two four fives. That's nice. Yeah. Beautiful, Mike. You know, and I've, I've looked at a lot of these covers, and I don't know that I've ever seen one that's really, really white. Those are, I would imagine, are hard to get. And yeah, I, mm -hmm. I wonder, was the stock just cream colors? Yeah, I don't know. That I don't know. Yeah, I would presume so, yeah. especially back then. We can pull off the panties. Off panties. All right, there, there go to the panties. Cover up. Now you, now you got to sniff it. <laughs> and this book, when I was a kid, I was more interested in the back cover than the front cover. And I'll show you why. Evil, evil can evil. Evil can evil. <laughs> evil can evil was like a god back then. Yeah, yeah. He still is. Is he still alive? No, no. He died no. fairly young. I mean, he lived longer than I figured. He Liver died. failure some years ago. Yeah, oh, it wasn't the accidents. It was, it was the dream. <laughs> it's what I've been doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming, evil. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of slabs are gonna fall on your head. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. We've got some. Let's start with the lowest graded copy first. Did you think? That I think. That you think. Okay. This is right up Anthony's alley. Oh boy. So we have a beautiful copy, 129. And for those of you who've never seen the back, this ad was awesome. And when you were a little boy in the 70s, everyone wanted this. But what you wanted is you wanted the blue one, which was much, much rarer. Everyone had the red crank handle. But there's only the, the the blue ones are much rarer. So there's a remake of that. It's yeah. made by Plain Mantis. They had a repop of that. Oh, so really? you can actually buy the newer version. It's not as cool as the original one. I don't care. I want it. Yeah, I wanted that one so bad, too. That was awesome. Well, so this one was actually a CGC crack. This, I think, was a 6.0 CGC. And you yes. think it's a 6.0? Well, it was a 6.0 CGC. I guarantee it's better. This is this is a 7.5. Really? That's a, big jump. That's a big jump. Survey says... So, <laughs> you know I can't see. How can I be cheating? <laughs> yeah. Victory. That's uh, a Final Fantasy. Nice. Okay. So, so you know, quick question, Alan. Up in Canada, was Evil Knievel as big a deal in the '70s as he was down here in the States? Oh no, we had the Human Fly. Oh, that's right. That, yes. That's right. right. And he actually got a comic book about him. Yes. And he had that's that right. pimp stick. He used to yeah, carry yeah. The his pimp pimp pain, man. Yeah, yeah. You can't beat that. I mean, Evil Knievel, sure, he pulled off the stunts and the human fly didn't. But the human fly had a pimp cane. <laughs> he did have a pimp cane. Yeah. And didn't he climb a building in New York City and got arrested? 
Uh, no, that well, I think that was someone dressed as him, but oh. it wasn't him. Wasn't I remember it? as a kid. It was, it was the like, imposter fly. He only Why ever did. He only ever did three stunts. Two of them were <laughs> almost all. No, two of them were failures. So he only su <laughs> succeeded one stunt. That's how <laughs> successful he was. You know what, though? If you think about it, people watch Evil Knievel more to watch him fail than to, to, to make oh, for it. for sure. His highest rating was when he crashed at Caesars and he, like, broke every bone in his body yes. and slammed oh, into geez. the wall. Everyone loved that. And I, as a kid, I remember laying on my stomach watching our you know, Admiral TV that was soaking my body with radiation <laughs> and sterilizing. Watching his limpless body slam <laughs> repeatedly was like the highlight of my seven year old existence. <laughs> and we ran right out of the replicators. It, it was more important than Christmas, <laughs> the birth of my cousins. I remember that. <laughs> And that wasn't, yeah. that wasn't the actual no, I know. Who practiced yeah. 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 That was awesome. He bit it hard and we yeah. cheered. All, All right. right. So this one, Mike is calling a 7-5. Another CBC crack. The rap isn't quite as good on this one. Still, so really good colors. Um, you know, we always talk about, you know, buy the book, not the grade, sell the grade. Uh, this one definitely looks better than what you're saying it is, but maybe it's got some flaws. Well, it was a CGC at 7-5. Yeah. This this looks like an eight zero all day to me. Yeah, I guarantee it's better. Nine zero. Nine zero. Nine. Oh, wow. you crushed it. That's three grades. Nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. One more. And when two isn't enough, we have three. So actually, all three of these I picked up last year. They were either trades or came in collections, and they're all CGC books. They're old cases. So I had them cleaned and pressed and cracked out. So two for two. So yeah, Mike can crack these things open like people crack open peanuts now. <laughs> He's <so laughs> cracking them. He just grabs them and breaks them open. <laughs> well, this one wasn't eight five. It wasn't eight five. To my eye, this is at least a nine two. It might be a little better. You want a drum roll? Let's get a drum roll. We'll do a drum roll. Nine two. Oh, oh. Nice. Wow, that's a nice jump from a that CDC a nice 8.5. Book. This Very came nice. from the original owner collection, actually, and the guy just, he just slabbed all of his books, and there was all kinds you of- You know what? Where Alan, I'm seeing a pimp is. cane there. Are you seeing that? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, but he didn't carry one in real life. No. Just he did, he, yeah, he didn't carry it in real life. <laughs> I think he started carrying that though after he like broke his his femur. For, like, eight <laughs> yeah, that's when he needed it. <laughs> he actually needed it. <laughs> All right. His back was jacked up a little bit. We got forty people on tonight. Look at that! Wow. Hey, AG Surfer just jumped in. Hey, bud. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh yeah, and we also had Super Dave as pointed out in chat there. Oh yeah, Super, Super Dave. Dave. Oh, yeah. On, uh, Super Dave Osborne. Yeah, Osborne. I see Discovery Bay Comics. Hey, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for uh, mentioning us this morning in your show. Super Dave Osborne's hysterical. I love watching Super Dave. I see Edward Lightbringer. All right. A whole bunch of people on. I will go through and read the comments afterward, everybody. I, that's, I usually do. Hey, Doc's on. You got to oh. do. Uh, Doc, you tuned in at the perfect oh, time. Oh, we got a Doc special coming. Up. You love both. You love this book that he's about to show here. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Was that in jest? Oh no. <laughs> okay, it is so not. There you go. Okay. At that. All right. I love the story behind this. Who this is? Mom yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Louise Jones, who later became. Yeah, she was married Louise. to Jeffrey Jones at yep. the time. Yep. So and I didn't realize until uh, I can't remember whose video it was. Ellen, was it your video you talked about? That I the, did talk the about that in Louise Simonson. Yep. Yeah, but the bad guy was modeled after uh, Mike Kaluta. That's it, Mike Kaluta. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. yeah. Supposedly, Wrightson had a crush on Louise at the time when she was married to Jeff. Everybody had a crush on Louise oh, at yeah. the time. <laughs> One of the sole females in the industry. <laughs> All right, Mike has this as a 6-0. That was a CGC 6-0. So he cracked this out. That was a 6-0 before. Survey and says? Now a 7-0. Ooh, wow. 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 White pages. That's a point and a half. Yeah, white pages. Look at that. That is an yeah. oddity on that book. Yeah, that's great. Wow. Ooh. Damn, like this, that nice was book. actually a Heroes Con special. I got that one when I was on Heroes Con. Look how clean the back is. Did you guys want those things too when you were kids? What those? Yeah. Oh, the toys. You know what? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't I remember hot, hot birds. I don't remember hot birds. I remember the ad. I don't remember the books. Uh, Why did you have them, or did you long for them? Hey, no. 
<laughs> and if one's good, two, two is, is best. <laughs> two is better. <laughs> Mike's calling this one a seven or five. It that was, was a seven. That five. was a CBC. Wow. Seven. You know what? If you look at this one close, look how much darker this one so, is. So mm -hmm. interesting thing is with these books, they had this process called the mezzo tint. It's not a gray wash, yeah. but you can see in the print run. Hold that other book back up. Again. Yeah. If you look at the window, so hold it up. If you look at the windows like above the swamp thing here, it's dark. You can't quite see it. Uh huh. Yeah. That yeah. green pattern, and over here you can. You can see the variation in the print run as it went through. The, same thing for the table that Louise is sitting at. If you go up a little bit, look at how light it is. Oh above yeah. Those. So that that beige. You can actually you can see, see right in signature. Yeah. Yep. You can see right Bernie Wright's signature on and, this this part of it. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lighter, and then if you look at the other one, this this is darker. You can just about make it out. Oh, I gotta so check my I gotta check out my copy, see which one yeah, I there's have. quite a variation. So I'm gonna call this the ultra variant. This is like the deep as, color strike. As Dr. Von Chill would say, blazer of a color strike. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. So what I think it's an A5. That was a CBC S75. I think it's an A5. I think it's better than a seven five. Let's go. Oh, oh it's an eight oh right in the middle. Nice. Oh, takes the grade bump. What's the page quality? Page quality in this one is off white. Okay. I but would, it has that deep color strength. It does have to keep this would be a tough one. The seven five is a little bit better of a wrap, too. It's better centering. This one you can see you're it's missing the top. I'm sure Nick will watch this. Nick, if you see this, look at that. That top's not not as, as good centering as this one is. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah better. You got your choice. You can pick that. Yes, you can. How are we doing on time? Oh, we got oh, lots of time. Yeah. We have lots of time to babble on. My my glass is getting empty, so <laughs> like you better hurry up. Your beer's your beer's gonna get warm and drinking. <laughs> oh, these are nice books. All right, still Ooh. still a nice book. Still a popular book. I know, Alan, this is right up your alley. You love yeah, the first Black, Black Panther. Panther. Yep. I got this book from Dale Roberts. He had a collection that he had gotten in. And I'm not sure one of the 15 times that I ran across Dale last year, I grabbed this copy. Well, you know what? That this this what is a 6.5, but it sure looks nicer. Mm -hmm. The only thing you have is a little bit, a little bit of a blunted corner down here and a couple little yeah. color break stripes, but I think this and is this, this was a raw. I called it a six five. I think it's a seven zero. Oh. <laughs> wow! What's the page quality? White. White. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice book. See, that's right in my wheelhouse. Seven O's with white pages are probably my favorite books to collect. And as always, there's two. One's good, mm -hmm. two's better. This one I think is a little bit better. I called it a seven zero. It yeah. was another raw book. Much sharper corners. Um, wraps not quite as good. You can see that the the, the comics code is is pushed off the corner a little bit, and the faces are a little bit uh, pinched. Yeah. Uh, but it does have much better color. The thing is much darker orange on this cover, mm -hmm. um, and you can see the contrast ratio on uh, Black Panther. You can see much better. Uh -huh. So I think it's a seven five, maybe an eight. I call it a seven. Oh, <laughs> pages though. Man. pages. That's nice. That is great. It's fun seeing these all together, huh? Okay, we got here's, next? Uh, here, oh. here's, here's one for Anthony. This is the gamble, uh, Anthony. Oh, this is okay. your chance. This is your chance. We're going to put you on the spot here. Oh, geez. Okay. Don't put me on the spot. Yeah, that's, when I, that, that's when I screw up. <laughs> so this was this was a restored copy. It has some color touch. Yeah. And there's tape on it. But... I think it's a better graded copy than the 2.0 that you've got, Anthony. Mm. Would you trade? Would you trade sight unseen? This nicer looking. I called it a 2.5. Uh huh. Light light restoration for your 2.0 raw copy, and the cover fully attached. Would I trade it? Trade my copy for that? Straight yeah. up. A higher grade, but some slight color touch. No, no, don't. It has what? tape on the cover. Don't. <laughs> it has tape on the cover, you said, huh? Yeah, that's probably the deal breaker right there. Mm. Yeah, right there. Tape guy. Yep. On the inside where the staple is. Mm. Uh, I'm not opposed to tape. I mean, not a whole lot of it, but uh, uh, 
I think I, I think Mike's right. I think I would call this a two five. It, it's got a shot at a three. I probably wouldn't. I'd say no. You'd stick with your unrestored Good door. Choice. Good choice. Let's make a deal. Yeah. It's like let's let's be yeah. door number three. Okay. You sticking with it? Final answer. Yes. Survey says. Oh, it is a two five. you chose well. Yes. <laughs> I chose like an Indiana Jones Last Crusade. I chose wisely. Nice. Mm -hmm. What a great book. I won't. I won't turn into a skeleton after drinking from the chalice. <laughs> or melt like a wax candle. <laughs> I had a four point five restored with a uh, color touch. I sold oh, it right. for the Amazing Fantasy fifteen. Yeah, that was one of the books I said. You know, that was a, that was a good idea. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I tend to think so. <laughs> I mean, that was one of many, of course. I'm I enjoying that milk stout. I got to tell you. Wow, this is a beauty. Ooh. Oh, this is this is interesting. You could do a whole show on this. This came from the Richard O'Neill collection. Um, <laughs> oh, and, and it's 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 almost a pedigree status. I had about five hundred books from this guy's collection. Oh, the and looks uh, nice and white. It it, yeah. it has his name if you look right up below the word Batman on the title, you zoom in a little bit. His name is stamped there lightly. So there were thousands of the books in this collection, and a lot of these books were very high grade. Um, dealers snapped it up. Three years ago, I believe, uh, all the key books were gone, uh, but a lot of really nice common run books are in this collection out there. Like Someone I said, I too, had, he hand wrote on the top. Um, he, the put, he put an R-O in yeah. black marker yeah. on the front. Yeah. But it was basically a golden age through early bronze. There was probably about, I would say, 15,000 books in this collection. And you could tell by the color on these, these things never saw the light of day. They didn't mm -hmm. see the air. I mean, that yeah. looks like a fantastic copy. Yeah. Well, Mike says 7.5. This was actually a CGC 7.5. It was a very dirty cover. So not anymore. Liberated. I mean, it is. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I'd say an 8.0 with a shot at an 8.5. I'm going with Patrick on that one. You ready? Mm -hmm. The survey says. Oh, it's an 8.0. Nice. Oh, nice. and white pages. Too. White pages. How about that? Yeah, I think he protected his books very well. You know, sunlight and everything is bad, and you can protect them to a certain degree, but. Keeping the air out of it and not allowing the pages to oxidize is, mm -hmm. is key, um, and it's hard to do because people back then you read your books, you rolled them in your pocket, you know, mm -hmm. you you know. I know I used to read them on a sand or just, or, or just even kept them out, you know. Yeah, yeah, you just laid them on. We used to lay our stacks. Yeah, and then then they form spiral and all that stuff. So whenever you see books like that, that's somebody that back in the day was insanely yeah into their books. <laughs> uh now, I like this cover, but I like 102 better. Ah, uh, okay. I just don't dig the getting pimp slapped on the cover <laughs> of your own magazine. <laughs> I don't think that's cool. I I love that cover. I, I do too. It is I a cool just, cover. I love it's, the way Morbius it's looks. looks. It's insane. He look, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's Larry Larry going away with that in the early 70s. And where did he get it from? He, he would he show up at a tailor and say, "Hey, make me this. I'm a I'm a, I'm a vampire." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go live in an abandoned warehouse. Can you give me something cool to look at? Yeah, yeah. He's ashamed that he's a vampire, so he dresses yeah, like a yeah. vampire. Make me look better. You know, something that I uh, can blend in with. <laughs> I think I saw Durango wear that the last show. <laughs> he could pull it off. He could. He could pull it. He could work it out. So this was a CBCS eight five. I just wanted to get it into a CGC case. I don't blame you. <laughs> I think I think it's I think it's it might get a step down, but we'll see. A step mm. down from five. Well, okay. No, 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 no. pages. It does have white pages. I thought maybe they ding you on the staples. They looked a little bit invented, but it, it's amazing how that book just shot up. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Uh, I, mean, so you know, I I bought it. I don't know if you remember uh, the day before that. The, you know, yeah, the, I remember. The whole fervor happened with that book. I remember. Here's a book that's super hot. Um, it's one that I really want to see what happens to Captain Marvel when it comes out on the eighth. Um, time to get it graded. Time to get it graded. Get mm -hmm. it graded and get it out. And this was a raw copy. Looks um, pretty good. It's got, it's got a good. Little corner crease down here in the lower right. Okay, yeah, I see it. I see it. A little bit of color break. Otherwise, it's a sharp book. I'm thinking it's about a 7 And these books are tough because of the square bounds. And yeah, look how wide. Yeah, right. yeah. Look how wide bounds. I, I hate square bounds. Yeah. They're nice when they look good. It's, 
but they're hard to get a hold yeah, of. I just never got. I never liked them. Yeah. All right. We got seven zero. Let's see what we got. Boom. Hey. Seven five. Nice job. Excellent. Okay. One is good. Two is better. Two is better. This one's a seven zero. The colors not not as good. Uh, I'd say sharper corners. It does look like it has a little bit of, of uh, dimpling along yeah. the edge here. Um, a little bit of reading stress. Yeah, there. and it's hard to get that out without damaging the cover. Mm. So I yeah. would say this is a solid 7.0, maybe a 7.5. I call it a 7.0 also. Yeah. Same as the last book. No, oh, 7.5. 7.5. Oh. Oh, nice page quality. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the first box. Got to crack into the second one. So because of these oversized issues, they couldn't fit it all into one box. So we have kind of a little mini box here. Yeah. Fragile. Fragile. This must be converted. Oh, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this. So the new TGC box, and I'll put fragile on the sides, which is a new addition. Okay, what do we got? Oh, this is a good one. Yikes. <laughs> That's the good one, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That Patrick having palpitations here. That one might not leave the house tonight. Yeah. <laughs> off for the panties. That oh, was just, those, those were hard to get off. She oh, wasn't yeah. giving it. She wasn't giving it up so quickly. That was that was like in the back seat of the, at the driving or they something. Didn't want to come. Uh, <laughs> no, she didn't want to give it up. Yeah, it's violent there. You gotta be careful there, Mike. You yeah. get a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, it's a nice book. Yes, it is. Some people don't consider it a grail because, you know, these characters all appeared beforehand. Um, I don't know. I, I still think it's a great book, especially with what's going on uh, with the movies. This is really nice. The back is super clean. Yeah. That's a clean there's, book. There's a split at the top of the spine there. It's yeah. a small split. And then next to Loki's head here, you got a little bit of rubbing. Yeah. Um, but for I the most part, it's a nice book. I'm, I'm calling it, was it 4 four zero? Yep. I think it's a 4-5. Yeah, I think it's a 4-5. And survey says... Wow. 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 That's crazy. Wow. That is awesome. That's an impressive grade. It's congrats. Con congrats. Really, wow. really nice colors. Congrats. Look how deep. Yeah. Reds are always the first one to go. Yeah, that's true. Yep. I always think of you guys out there, too, that have comic rooms, and I notice that it might be fluorescent lighting. Please change those immediately. Oh, God, yeah. Get rid of the fluorescent light. Get rid of your incandescent. Go out, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, and get LED strip lighting or change out your incandescent bulbs or fluorescent, compact fluorescents. Put in LED bulbs, please. <laughs> Remember that shop went to out in Syracuse? Oh, we did. Oh. We went out to a shop, and this guy had a whole wall of beautiful Silver Age books. They were all bleached, right? They were all bleached, and, like, there was no red in any of them. And it was just sad, you know? Yeah. Kind of wish that he had didn't have them. <laughs> and there's a shop in Pittsburgh too, Pennsylvania, um, called Ides Entertainment. They don't sell yes, yes. Shows, but they do sell on eBay. Yeah, he was one of the first YouTubers yeah. I ever saw. And and their books in their basement are in these cases with fluorescent tubes and all the books are faded. I mean, really badly. I had to point out to the guy that he didn't realize. Um, I guess looking at them every day you don't notice that. But yeah, it was it was it's sad. Gra it's gradual. It was sad. Yeah. That guy usually has a uh, high, you know, a lot of good stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Todd. I won't spill it, and if I do, I'll suck it out of the carpet. <laughs> 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 I'm not proud. <laughs> now, now, is Doctor Von Chilla chime in if you're still there? Because we're about to show your all-time favorite book. Oh God! Here we go. <laughs> Here not we one. go. Not one. Not two. But three. <laughs> John had to excuse himself. He ran to the yeah. bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. I don't think he made it. All right. <laughs> no, so he probably did. One, a CGC 6 0. I think. <laughs> oh, John's here. Get ready, John. <laughs> oh, look at this. I might have, gotten I might have to do some shopping for your birthday early, John. <laughs> All right. This book's super clean. I think it's better than a 6 0, Mike. It was a CDC 6 -0. I think yep. you're going to get a 6 5. 6 5? Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. There's a $2,000 wow. difference. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference there. Yeah, wow. All right. It's not bad. We'll wow. take it. It's a pretty book. Wow. 
So did you guys know that when Lenny <laughs> John, John said he threw up in his mouth. <laughs> Get ready to do it again. Get ready again, John. <laughs> this one's right. probably well, better than one, probably better than eight point oh. Six five. Okay. Um, hmm. What do you think? What do you think? It looks nicer than the other one. So, so we're saying a rubbing wear down there. You see that? Just a tuck. So, Either rubbing wear. It might just be where someone's fingers go. Yeah. So are we, we say, are we saying H five? Uh well no I can't no, see it be that high I think that, I think that that last book got graded by a guy that got lucky the night before here we go ready <laughs> he says uh, Ooh, so this was book I bought this at Heroes Con and uh, the case was broken and actually the book was oh, yeah. was loose and when I got home I realized it was an old case but the corner post had snapped off so at first I was concerned it might have been tampered with but uh, the inner well was fine. So I had it regraded, uh, re-slabbed, and uh, thankfully it came back even better. Okay, and then this is, okay, oh, one more. So it has page quality. Uh, the 7.5 has white pages. So that, that, you know, that you might choose that over an 8. The 8.0 has off-white to white. So, But it's a little bit nicer. It's a little nicer. I, I think the 7.5 looks nicer, to be honest. 7.0. There's a phrase, too. Does that bother anyone else, to be honest? What's that? When people no. say so, what does that mean? So, like for the last half hour, we've been talking. You've been lying to me. What the hell does that yeah. mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's a strange saying. All right, we got a seven zero here. That was a CGC, old case seven point zero. All right. I think that's the one that looks the best out of all. It three. really does. Wow. So this is what eleven eleven point zero. Super clean. Yeah, using that weird yeah. math. <laughs> all right, I think it's an eight. Eight whoa, five. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Bend over nice. Beethoven. Look at whoa. that, huh? <laughs> Ooh, nice. That's great. John, Impressive. just 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 IM me, John, if you want to buy this, okay? Yeah, he's cash yeah, you credit. know he wants it. Yes, yes. Cash credit or a gift card Organs. to the uh what is it, the pink pussy cat? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna reopen that still, right, John? Because we're gonna make a road trip there. Oh, wow. Your parents would be proud, John. Do it. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if you guys heard the story. When, when Len Wein designed the character, Roy Thomas told him he wanted to call the character either Badger or Wolverine. So it was a toss-up. And uh, he actually had John Ramita Sr. design that costume. Yeah, I like the original concept a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the only time he appeared. So actually, Len went from being doing the House of Secrets in 71, I think, and jumped over to Marvel to do the uh, the Wolverine. Which so, Alan, does that mean if that had happened, that that Badger character would have never happened in first comics? Oh, I have no answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> I am not the mind of Mike Barron. But <laughs> okay. He would have been called something else, like I don't know, the Porcupine. I, yeah, I another woodland creature. Mm. Could have been the Honey Badger, I guess. Right, the Honey Badger. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Anthony. Oh, this is interesting. So this it is, is what Anthony. Anthony has. So this awesome. is it's a qualified grade and it got a green label because it has a uh, married wrap. wrap uh -huh. Oh, okay. So oh, the centerfold is probably replaced at some point. Was it the centerfold or maybe was it the um the pinup? No, the pinup uh that was the last page, wasn't it? <sighs> I haven't I yeah, have looked at it. Yeah, I think you're right. checking on your book, the last page, the pinup. Yeah. So this was a three five. Okay. No, I three five. He says the three five. Yeah. But it might be higher if it's the qualified. It might be as high as a five. No, it's still the three five. You think it will be? Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, let's see. Survey says, is he right? Boom. Four five. Okay. No, he's wrong. <laughs> well, I was close. I thought it'd be a five zero. Right, in the right direction. So you got a little wonkiness here too. You have a little bit of red pen on there, um, but they didn't really club it bad. It's got a little bit of a sun shadow on the spine, and that happens because back in the day we didn't stand our books up. We used to, to stack them. So what happened is a book was stacked, and this was exposed to the air. Yeah. And this is one of those books too. If you wanted to send it back, they'll give it a blue label, but it will come back as a lower grade. Probably, probably a two five. Um, no, a three. I would say maybe a three. It's Depends a beautiful book. What they, what they and I know are. Anthony will argue with me. But I think I, is it eleven where the Doctor Octopus is on? I think is a better cover than this one. Um, I, I don't, 
I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to. I'm not going to argue with you because I like that cover very much too. I'm yeah. fascinated with that cover, yeah. but I still like number three better. I just like the creepiness of it. It has more. You know, uh, yeah. now, now that I look at it, he looks like he's in witness protection too because you can't see anything about him other than his arm. Just the <laughs> background behind them you know? looks yeah, kind of completely it, blacked out. Yeah, it, it has really, like a. Yeah. It make you want to buy the book to see what he really looks like. Yeah, and you're disappointed when you see. No, him. no, and then you see he's a smoking hot piece of ass that Aunt May ends up trying to marry. That's right? That's <laughs> funny though. Yeah, he was going out with his freaking Aunt May, who was like yeah, ninety years old. Everything. <laughs> he, Doctor Octopus knew how to work it. All right. <laughs> so this one here is that from Heroes Con, Mike. That's from Heroes Con. So yes, yes you I, that. I was good. there when. You got it. Actually, this you, this was this was a Reaper Tate best hot book of the day by, if I remember. You actually right. had two suggestions. You had that book and this one right here, mm -hmm. um, and they came from the same collection. Yes. This one now has a very very faint fold on the back cover. It's a full length. The book looks phenomenal, but it's oh, yeah. right along yep. the full length of the back cover. It's, a, it's weird. And so I, uh, the back cover must have gotten folded at some point. It's yeah. not a sub crease. Um, it's tough to say what the grade is. I mean, it looks like it's an eight zero. I called it a six because you've got a full book length crease there. Mm. I think it's a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with a six. It's oh, a seven. oh, you're right. They picked up on it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous. It's faint. Book, I, I mean, I could try yeah. to show you guys on camera, but you can't see it. It's very faint. Yeah, it is. I you know, I was there when you got it. It's an absolute beautiful book. It just looks Dale like Roberts. they put it into a pile, probably, and it got a little bit of a, a fold. It didn't really break colors, though. Nope. All right. There's Craven for you Craven lovers out there. Second chameleon. <laughs> yep, there he is. This is a Reaper hot hot pick of the week. <laughs> I call it a 7.5. Boom. And it's uh -huh. Nice. Really good color. Very nice. Look how dark that is. <laughs> it's beautiful. Beautiful oh, book. Right pages. Nice book. So the third book in the trio is number 17. Mm, second Goblin. Mm -hmm. yeah. First, gl first uh, mod, the glider that he usually uses. Really clean. Is it? Yeah. Super clean book. All, all these books came from the same collection. It's just a great image that they yeah. used to have for Spider-Man. Yep. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. At twelve cents, They're just the design of Marvel books, I think back then were just so much better than DC. Yeah. yeah. It just it was oh, so. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I don't yeah. know about you guys. I hate having to look on a DC cover and trying to find a damn number and the months on it. <laughs> this is maddening. Yeah. It's just like, where's Waldo? You're looking on this thing, trying to do one of those 3D art things, trying to see the the, the whales that everyone else sees in the office. Yep. All right. So we got an eight zero. Survey says. It's an eight nice. That's a great wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. It's a lot going on in that cover. I love the scared people on the bottom. <laughs> look at Jay. Look at JJ. Yeah. There's a little Hitler mustache going there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <whoa. laughs> the spine. Okay. So this book is actually from a friend of mine. And he wanted it to get graded. And if you notice up here, oh yeah. There's some kind of pencil mark and i wasn't sure if you get a restored for that that might be why you got the restored grade hmm. it looks like a date yeah it looks like, yeah. A, like one of those distribution things but yeah somebody hand wrote that in i told him i said nonetheless it's worth grading now what did it get the purple for color touch yeah it says small color touch so i'm guessing it's that that pencil room thing at the top. again square bond look how thick this slab is compared to other slabs so, I called it an eight. Yeah, eight zero. It's nice. I I, I agree. Oh, oh yeah. nine, nine zero. Slight. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. Take a look at the restoration. What is that? Is that professional small restoration? Uh, small amount of color touch. It's but what's but what what's the uh, the category on it? This is what, what's the letter and the number? B one. Yeah. Yeah. B one. Yeah. Okay. So it's you not. Say, I think C's are like when it's amateur. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. Like someone got out of Sharpie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, white, uh, off white to white pages. Nice book. So if you notice, this was the issue 
that uh, Gil Kane did the cover on that. Correct. Yep. And Wolverine's mask has been changed. So Gil, Gil took the uh, privilege to design a new face, and Cockrum decided to go with it. So the interior artwork went with that new design. Yeah. But, now uh, Dave Cockrum uh, brought a lot of these characters over with him. The Legion of the Super yes. Yeah. He was going to say he was going. They were going to be. He a never team, actually. Right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Correct. So I got Nightcrawler came over verbatim. He didn't even change no, Nightcrawler. I know. And then, and then later Storm on, and Colossus were yeah, kind of real similar homogulations of the other. And then characters. later on, he had the thing called the Futurians, which he yeah. unloaded the rest of them on. So. Yep. Yep. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I keep forgetting we have Alan on here. Did you? No. <laughs> did you do a video of that yet? No, no. I'm probably never going to touch the X Men. Everybody touches them, and well, I, I meant what Dave Cockrum did and how he brought those over. Oh yeah, that might be worth it. Yeah. It's a very interesting story. Yeah, it is. It really yeah. is. Well, you know, those guys just they walked around with these notebooks. You know, Kirby did it too, the new gods. Yeah. He took it with him when he went. He's like, fine, you know, yeah. you don't want to pay me what I'm worth. He walked yeah. he walked across the street, said, Look at this notebook. And uh it reminds me of the scene in uh Elf when they bring in the uh uh what's his name there? He's in uh Game of Thrones. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. They bring him <laughs> in, uh, Miles Finch, and he's got Miles this little notebook full of great ideas. That's what that's what Jack Kirby did when he walked across the street. Yeah. And then a few yeah. years later, Dave Cockrum did it when he came up with Marvel. So <laughs> if you were a talent uh, agent back then, you just had to watch for the guy's notebook. <laughs> just get a hold of his notebook. <laughs> I guess Cockrum left over one page of art. He argued over getting artwork back, and it came down to one page, and he said, I'm walking. He didn't get it back, yeah. so he left for that one page. I wonder what it was. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we still anyone new come in? No, it looks like everyone's here. We're holding at thirty six, everybody. All right. We'll Doing get some good. friends. Oh, <laughs> Tell them what's going on here. All right. This one's nicer. Yeah. It's, it's a white. It's much whiter. Um, so this one yeah. wasn't CBCS. Uh, there was a slight crease on the back. Yeah. Down in the lower corner, it was a CBCS seven O. Uh, which is why it looks so nice, but you know it should come back as a little bit better than a seven. And it's an eight, Ooh, and it a, does, an and it did. <laughs> yeah. One the nice thing that CBCS does is you can uh, look at the QR code and you can get the graders now. Are yeah. they up yet? I mean, I haven't checked in a while, but I know for a while those things weren't even up. You mean the the, the CBCS grading graders notes? Yeah. Yeah, they they they're up there the day they ship the books up. They should be at least. Yeah. We're gonna have to check one now. I'm gonna yeah. have to check. I'm gonna have to check my Batman 49. <laughs> <laughs> and then the trio to round the trio out. Here's a third copy. Nice copy, except there's some rust transfer stains on the back near Patrick's fingers. Anthony, that's your favorite thing, right? You love right rusty there. staples. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the best rusty staples are when they're imported from Missouri. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> that's that. That's real classy quality. It is rusty staples. Yes. There's nothing like Missouri rust. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So I think this one looked better than the last. 7.5. But the rust transfer, I'm going to call yeah. it a 7.5. I think you're right. I think it might actually dip. Oh, oh we were wrong. Ages. They love rusty staples. They were, <laughs> those guys were even more rusty because they were licking them. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but when I was a kid and – I remember that this book was took a back seat to '94. Yeah, it absolutely did. Forever it did, and then I don't know what I don't know when yeah. it happened. If it was Overstreet or what happened, yeah. this book then just rocketed right past. Yeah, it. I got my first copy like for fifty bucks. There were a dime a dozen back then. '94 I mean, was untouchable. It, it was like a Kenyan in the Boston Marathon. Yeah, <laughs> it just came <laughs> along yeah. and whoosh, blew by everyone. Exactly. Yeah. For so, how long was '94 the top? Oh, it went a long time. into the '90s. Yeah. Oh I really? That long? Yeah. Back in the eighties, the two hot books were were uh, X Men ninety four and, Spider -Man and uh, well, not so much so. Fantastic four forty eight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Other books people weren't chasing. They weren't chasing Hulk one eighty one. They weren't chasing. Yeah, Hulk one eighty one was the late nineties thing. I mean, you could find them and they were twenty thirty bucks, but the yeah. books that were hot, like in those mile high ads, were ninety four. Ninety four and was the Fantastic four forty eight. Wow. Ninety four was the modern day what one eighty one is now. 
I mean, yeah. it, 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 like if you were a kid and the first question you always ask another new collector is, hey, you got 94 X-Men? And mm -hmm. if they said no, you're like, yeah, okay, what else you got? You know? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Get lost. <laughs> yeah, get lost. Yeah. Yeah, go, yeah, I think I hear your mom calling you for dinner. <laughs> so, and then he'd cry and say, my mom's been dead and you'd feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> you actually have a giant test number one? I don't. You don't. No, did you ever have one? No, I haven't. You did. How about you, Anthony? You ever own a copy of number one? I've had two copies. I, I have one. Uh, I, I still have one. Oh, nice. Yeah. How about you, Alan? You got one? No, sir, I do not. You have either? Mm -hmm. No, no. I, I X Men is one of my least favorite teams, to be honest. Oh, mine yeah, too. yeah. I mean, I get their their importance, but they never really interested me whatsoever. Not even when they were hot when I was, you know, like in my early teens. Yeah, I, you know, Fantastic Four was always my book, uh, and, and Avengers. Those were the yeah. two that, that were my favorite. I love the thing. He was one. He still is one of my favorite yeah. characters. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I'm time out for trivia. I'm gonna go get another beer. <laughs> <laughs> time out for trivia. So yeah, so back in the day, the '94 was the hot book. You know, that was the one that everyone was trying to you know snarf up, and they were hard to come by. And and number ones, I saw, I saw like one guy had a stack. He had ten of them at a show, brand new. Giants has number ones, and uh, some guy bought them all up for like about a hundred bucks a piece at the time. They were all undistributed. This was probably 1990, I think. You know, already the end of the, a decade. And our official sponsor, Jerry Screamer. Mm. No, not anymore. They don't have. There's no. There's no dairy products in this any longer. Uh, vegan. It is vegan beer. So this summer, I'll do a, a live uh, broadcast from High Falls. Uh, there's, there's a falls here yeah. in Rochester, and actually, there's a guy named Sam Patch who successfully jumped Niagara Falls mm -hmm. and lived. And then he came to our little falls in Rochester and jumped and died. died. <laughs> So, Go figure. Yeah. So I'll put that on camera. You can all see where Sam Patch died. Now, this is going to be like gear shift in here. That's true. You go from dark, dark to the light stuff. <laughs> oh, that's so creamy and smooth. <laughs> I don't have a problem. I'm not drinking alone. <laughs> There's a stack of books down there. Anyway, around. this is beautiful books. Nice mm -hmm. job, Mike. Yep. A lot of hunting went into that. Uh, I've seen Mike get the long box hunch going for those of you that go long to shows slump. Yeah. and know how painful that is yep. and how you can't feel your fingertips after a while. <laughs> but we'll be doing it again, Heroes Con in June. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we have even a, a better trip this time. Hopefully we'll see a, a bunch more of you down there. Uh, it was nice seeing people this last oh, yeah. time we went yeah. down. So we're going to try to see if we can get Nick involved this year. We'll see, definitely. So, what time does a big clock say? 7.53. 7.53. Indeed. So, so that was really an impressive box. Both yeah, of them yeah. were, Mike. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it was nice to see those grades. It was nice to see some of the books from Heroes Con come back, the grades that they came back. Very, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. A bunch more coming. One of the boxes I want to try to do here is uh, Patrick did a – or I helped him do a, a 9.8 – Box of Moderns. Oh, yeah. um, I came across a original owner collection about two years ago, oh, yeah. and the books were pristine. And I think I could do a similar box, but with early, early seventies, like seventy-one, seventy-two bronze books. Oh wow! They're, they're just they're stunning. Um, no real keys in there, but just some really nice, high quality, pristine books. And then of course there's you know dozens of other books we've got coming back, if not hundreds. Um, I think our modern order is coming back in about a week. Um, I can put together a box of probably Atlas uh, pre-code now. Uh, maybe even the EC box. I've got so many books. Oh, Just yeah. so many if you're still on, Ed. <laughs> anyway, I want to say hello to some people. I see Rag, you're on. Hey, bud. Uh, we got Sleepy Reader. Damien's on. Dr. Von Schill is still here with us. Yeah, uh, Amy, after seeing three Incredible Hulk 181s, he still managed to stick with us. Look at him. He wants to see those early 70s books. Yeah, you're amazing. That's what you get him here on here. Early Adams covers. All right, who else we got on here? I saw a new one the guy didn't recognize. His name is Brandon Stoinsky Comics. Hello and welcome. I'll definitely check out all these comments afterward. Chris Winsky's still hanging out here. Metarog, of course, is here. DS is still with us. All right. Awesome. Everyone stayed with us. Thanks, everybody. Uh, so go ahead and check out Anthony's channel, obviously, and uh, check out Strange uh, Brain Parts, uh, Alan's channel. Uh, I'd like to call them mini documentaries, and uh, he does a ton of uh, 
I can't imagine how much research you do, Alan, when you do those. And his editing is beautiful. It's very well done. Um, I, I can't recommend it high enough. Um, I, I would. That, that's definitely back when I used to do my my videos. I would always do a, a pick of the week and uh, definitely go through and just just watch this whole catalog because uh, I know I lost most of a Saturday a few weeks back just watching <laughs> video after video after video. Um, and he has a hypnotic voice almost. <laughs> it's, it reminds me a little bit like of a younger after comics is what it reminds mm. me of Alan. So uh, <laughs> anyway, anything you want to add to that, Alan? <laughs> he actually, I think he dropped out. Oh, did he? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, he can join back in. Mustache. I know where he was. Uh, he's up in Northern Canada. It was, was it minus, minus 17 degrees minus, Celsius. Yeah, which I is crazy cold. Yeah, but you guys get it pretty cold up there too, right? We got hammered today. It was uh, nasty. It's out about there. the same as where you are, Anthony. Yeah, I've been watching the temps. So it, yeah. tra it trades uh, back and forth a couple degrees. So. Yeah, yesterday we had like an ice storm. Yeah, it was like thirty-five. Yeah, when I drove home today, it was snowing sideways, which is pleasant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your your car might have rolled. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right, everybody. Well, if anyone has any questions, uh, put them in the comments, either on the chat here. Or you can put them, if you watch this on the Rewind, I know a lot of you love watching CGC unboxing, so uh, you know I'm sure you watch this again. If I missed page quality or anything like that, uh, let us know. Um, it's again, great show if tonight. You, if you have questions in general, yeah. uh, let us know. Um, like where Anthony buys his sweaters, he looks, again, he looks Pretty dapper. really dapper. From there. I buy them in Princeton. Oh, nice. of course, pinky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, Not nice. too far so from here. Some days where you have to dress differently because you're in, in front of people? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I I try to dress similar to uh, to what I'm wearing right now. He's wearing a shirt, but no pants right now. All right, good for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah if I'm going to be in front of you know clients, you got to make sure you you know you, you look yeah. nice. Um, you look presentable. You're not wearing your thing shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I can't wear my, my you know one of my vintage Marvel shirts. True. Yeah. yeah. You're a grown man. What are you wearing that for? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we're getting close to uh, Captain Marvel coming out, and we're even closer to uh, Doom Patrol coming out. So mm. I've seen some previews of it, and I'm pretty excited to see it. I might actually sign up. They, right now, it's $7.99 a month for DC Unlimited, and it looks like if you sign up for DC Unlimited, you get both the television programming and you get access to the back catalog. Yes. Oh, so man. that's kind of an interesting thing, and, and I hope Marvel does that too because – uh, Marvel's uh, system is pretty cool. The problem they need to do with those, they need to get the cycle on that better. Because right yeah, now it's yeah. so far behind. Yeah. You know, you hear people they talking do. about stories, and you have to wait months and months for that for those books to hit. So, um, you know, sometimes you turn to uh, pirate YouTube, like I do, and it's bad. I'm sorry, creators, but I don't want to wait six months sometimes. Yeah, yeah. and I don't yeah. want to pay eight dollars for a book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I've got hopes for Doom Patrol too. I mean, I'm waiting, yeah. looking to see uh, Negative Man how they do him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about Doom Patrol, so it'd be interesting to hear what you have to say about it, Patrick. When yeah. uh, you know, maybe it might get me into the series. Yeah, well, I, I want to go back and read. Uh, Alan's not on, but he did a great. Uh, uh, the first video of his I watched about Doom Patrol because I was mm -hmm. I'm reading uh, Challenge of the Unknown, and they actually come in and they they have yeah. a, a crossover in that book. Yeah. So that got me on because they were kind of different and weird. Uh, and it got me interested in it. And so I started looking, and he had a great video. And he actually has videos on each of the, the issues from uh, My Greatest Adventure 80 on up till they took the title mm -hmm. over um, yeah. until 121. So, uh, you know, I know there were some other uh, redos of that in the 70s and the 80s. And then, yeah, you know, was it Morrison's run. Uh, and the recent one, yeah. Yeah, uh, Gerard, uh, Gerard Way has a, a new one that uh, everyone seems to like a lot. But it seems drastically different than the original. It is, yeah. So, they changed it quite a bit. Uh, here's my other cat. His name is Walter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was a sweet cat for three years. Oh. He's a rescue. He's a tough little guy. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, he's always around. Um, yeah, he won't leave us alone now. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, those are things to look forward to. Um, I am going to try to – I showed Mike, actually. Uh, construction's been going on in the basement. Uh, there's going to be a nice big home. That's going to be your new home, Mike. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. Oh, don't worry. I, I'm making sure that we have like bolts that are poured into the concrete so yeah, Mike yeah. can't get oh, away now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feed him this time, though. He's going to get to eat. Well, this is, yeah. this is the first show we've done at your your place. Yeah. 
I, actually, th this is just a facade. <laughs> he, he lives in a cardboard box. If you yeah. can see in front of us here, it's a big Frigidaire box. We're just a backdrop here. Yeah, well, <laughs> home months yes, ago. I was. Yeah. I don't have a home anymore. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Ever since he purchased yeah, that Fantastic Four One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four yeah. One, I just He's you know, always got. I sacrificed everything. So all I have is a cardboard box, and I put it next to the brewery. <laughs> so I fish these out of the dumpster. Yeah. That free, though. That's the best part. Cold, but debt free. <laughs> it is cold up in Rochester. So people are still hanging. We're down to 24. Yeah, Damien, grab the rewind. Also, I think uh, I'll be sending you an email. Uh, I think uh, you'd be fun to have on. Um, I'm going to reach out to more YouTubers, um, especially guys around the channel here, and try to bring them in. Uh, I think it's fun to bring different perspectives in on that. And uh, uh, Damien does a great job on Wednesdays. Uh, there's a lot of Wednesday new comic book uh, shows that come out. Um, you know, uh, comics from Bueller and some other guys do them. Uh, I, I always watch Damien so because he, he does independence. Yeah. So th that's fun for me because I kind of gravitated away from the superhero books and mm -hmm. gotten into, yeah. you know, I was reading Westerns for a while, but now I've gone back into the fifties and I'm reading Moonshine and, and a few other, of the other newer books that have nothing to do with superheroes. So yeah. Yeah. I get my superhero fix, I guess, in the movies and TV now. So, yeah. Well, also, I got one quick PSA here. I should have done earlier because I want to save people two hours. There's a movie called Annihilation. Don't watch it. The only thing that Annihilation annihilated was my Monday night. <laughs> it's got Natalie Portman in it, and ugh, just just don't watch it. Just I kind of liked it. it. I had to watch it twice, though. Okay. It's real esoteric. It was real great esoteric. until the last 20 minutes. Yeah, oh. It was a smart movie, and then the last 20 minutes – that pissed me off. The best part was last 20 minutes. You liked the best? I liked it. Yeah. You had to watch it. Twice. It reminded me of Lost. I loved Lost. I best know. I did too until the end. Fantastic. Uh oh, what's going on, Anthony? Is he here? Is he living? Oh, now there's your, your spray rescue. Yes. <laughs> hey. Huh? Play hey, Nick. Nick. Nick is not here, James. <laughs> say, hey, say hi. Say hi. Light. <laughs> that's James. Hi, James. Patrick. Hey, and that's buddy. Mike. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone's hanging on here with us. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, check in next week. Um, do we have any more coming in before next week? We have a double order of modern coming in in about a week. It's very heavy with Eternals and Miss Marvel. Oh, yeah, okay. of books in it too. It's got twenty of my it's books. Got a in bunch it. of mule books. So in you it. might be able to see me cry live on air. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a joy <laughs> or, or sadness, either way. And then I have a standard order coming in in two weeks. Uh, which is four hundred dollar and up books. There are lots some very esoteric books in that collection. Books I've never owned before. Uh, that should be a fun collection. Mm -hmm. Cool. And of course, you know, let me know what kind of order you want to put in. I can put any order in at this point. I've got about eight hundred books to still submit. So um, I put a whole order of Fantastic Four forty eight together probably to submit at this point. That would be kind books. of cool. That'd be kind wow. of boring. Actually, all that <laughs> Let's do all that stuff. One. Yeah. Well, hot books. Hot books right? from the eighties. Hot books of the eighties. Fantastic Four. Batman, yeah, that's Batman. a good idea, Andy. Why don't you do like a whole eighties run? Eighties run? Yeah. Well, not, not necessarily eighties run, but like you were talking about how some books were just so hot in the eighties, like the X Men ninety yeah, four, yeah. Fantastic yeah. Four forty eight, something themed. Yeah, yeah, I could do some themed. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely do that. All right. Well, so we still got we still have twenty seven people hanging in here. <laughs> <laughs> People like the little reaper appearance. <laughs> yeah, he, he when he starts banging on the door, we gotta let him in, right, James? Yeah. What, are you, right, doing? what are you ready. doing, James? Yeah, okay. <laughs> are you doing the uh, Meadowland show coming up? I am. Uh, that's in uh, May, right? Yep. It's in yes, May. I am doing yep. it. I yep. will be there. I might really? even want to go to the Big Apple Con. I don't know. I've never been to the Big Apple Con. That one is – it's Mike Carbo's show. It's all comics. It's in the basement, um, but it's all comic dealers. But what do you Ooh. think, though? What do you think? Is it, is it good? And there's I mean, lots of pickpockets roaming in the crowd. Oh, jeez. Oh, because, you know, there are, still some big, there are still some big books that I'm looking for. Yes, you will find them there. If you want to go to a pure comic show outside of Heroes, you want to go to Big Apple. Yeah, I don't know, but for me, as this year, I don't know if I can actually do Heroes because of, yeah. you know. Yeah, we hear you. You know, it's we can't leave him behind, hey, right? Around. And we can't bring him. Turn around, <laughs> quick. James, those were my Genesis games. 
Were. I like close. the first part. <laughs> oh god, that's no, that's the Voltron coffin. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> it's cursed. All right. Well, I think we should sign off for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little Reaper crashed the party. Uh, nope. Put some comments there. You want to see some more CGC books? Uh, like I said, I've got about seven, eight hundred to submit. We can put together some themed boxes of books. Uh, like I said, I could, I could almost do an Atlas pre-code box at this point. That would be great. I EC would like one. that. He can yeah. do an EC one. That'd be oh, nice. Yeah. I want EC. Well, let us know below what you'd like to see, and we'll try to make that happen. Um, I Hopefully, I'm a few weeks away from having my comic area back again, so we'll have more of a, a place to shoot this. The new studio. The new studio, yeah. We'll do a little bit of sound and better lighting um, and more of my stuff. I can't wait to free my stuff. It's been in boxes. James, come here, buddy. Anthony, anything? Final words? Uh, don't let Little Reaper near your video games. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'll say um, for Alan. It was great having Alan on. Yes. Again, check out his channel. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's He does a great job with the video editing. You'll love it. Uh, you'll learn a lot. Uh, he answers a lot of questions, things you might always wonder, but you didn't want to spend the hours to research. He's done all the research for you. So uh, just get on and enjoy it. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Life Take care, everybody. In the pursuit of comics. <laughs> See y'all. All right.